Um, so why networking? Um, well, first of all, the overall theme of this second French Italian day um, is to show the benefits, first of all, of networking, and also to create um, a meeting space, meeting space with company uh, representatives and PhD holders who are now working in social um, economic sector. So what networking is about, just to be sure that we share the same um, meaning. It is, first of all, about making connections, meeting people that will lead you to some point meet other people, whether it's virtually or physically. And of course, um, we can help you implement your career plan. And that someday you can help also others as well in implementing of their career plan. Um, so here's a question for you to answer in the chat box. Do you network? How? With whom? Um, how do you feel about networking? So please your answer, put, please put your answer um, in the chat box. Um, so how do you find networking? Is it difficult for you? Do you network? How often? Um, and have you ever tried it before and in what context? So please, um, I will be waiting for um, a short moment to see also your answers on your networking practice. So I'm checking on some of your answers. Networking is good, but part of the work should remain in person. Yeah. Try my best, but it becomes hard when you don't know the local language. Okay, the linguistic part. Taken to Quest lecture at university, talk to fellow researchers around the lab. Okay, when you do it, internships, great. Networking is essential, wonderful. Networking uh, has comes and pros, of course, in different culture. There's that's important part also to take into consideration the cultural codes while networking. So uh, thank you for these first reactions. Of course, there's many, many uh, reflections or um, shall I do networking or not? Um, sometimes there is, could be also feeling that, well, networking is good for someone, but personally, I want to be evaluated on my own merits or, um, People are usually too busy. I don't want to bother them with my uh, questions or um, I have my pride. I don't want to owe anything to anyone or it's maybe um, culturally, once again speaking, it's not a common practice, for example, in my country or even in my sector. Um, but actually when you change the perspective, Let's imagine if someone uh, get in touch with you and um, try to, to ask for advice, how would you react if someone asked for information? So I bet you would agree to help. So um, in networking, consider yourself as an expert in your field. You are not just the person in demand of information. You can also give your knowledge in return, your knowledge, or let's say also a satisfaction of helping someone. Um, this is really a win-win situation about benefits um, and why networking is important. First, through the meeting of people working in a company or in position that interests you, you get ideas and tips um, on how to develop your career plan. And while transitioning from, let's say, um, academia to private sector, it's very much important to know exactly what is expected. Uh, and also uh, trying to check whether a company or a job 
matches you or not, because you're also recruiting your job and your company. Then um, you would know exactly what is expected from you as a candidate. If there, for example, a similar position open and you would know exactly which skills and experience you, um, you must put forward. So you can also identify opportunities that are not yet publicized or not yet created just by speaking with um, people, with company representatives, and maybe also by identifying their needs. Plus, if you're recommended by someone, um, there's a reference. Um, so your application will have more weight and there are better chances of having a recruitment interview. So networking is not a way to ask for a job. It's not, it's a way to get insightful information and get visible in a professional circle by also being a professional. Um, so some ideas on how can you grow your network. First, well, the, the ideas that some of you already mentioned is to care about activities of your colleagues and people you meet in your lab. For example, salespeople, company representatives um, that are also in touch with your lab, um, some, um, research fellows, uh, postdoctoral researchers, um, they might be also um, have some previous experience in the company. You would never know without chatting with people. There's also um, a good way in attending or organizing professional events, whether it's conferences, some meetings, uh, job events or seminars. So you have plenty of uh, different formats to, to try to get uh, in touch with people and also to get visible. Another option would be uh, be a part of a professional networks, uh, whether it's student network, alumni, uh, for example, of, from your former school, university, or from your extra professional activities. You do sports, you do some art activities, for sure you can meet some interesting people there. Um, also give visibility to your own activities. Um, for example, explaining your activities to your current network on LinkedIn, or also by, particip by, by participating in forums or um, in different discussions in, uh, in these groups on LinkedIn once again. And the biggest part would be uh, leading networking interviews with professionals. So this can be contacts of your contacts. Um, for example, using um, also a, a simple keywords search on the internet or on LinkedIn by checking on interesting pro profile um, in some themed groups uh, that are similar to your profile or who are now occupying positions that you are interested in. Of course, these ones are just few ideas and you don't have to do all of this at once in the space of one week. Of course, be selective and start by things you're comfortable with. And also um, always try to uh, settle your goals according to what your main goal is. For example, for now, uh, you're still uh, on the research contract, but you would also like to know about other opportunities. So little by little, uh, by meeting people, you advance also in your networking goals. Um, there's some golden rules um, that you can follow that also can help you to, um, to be comfortable in this networking approach. First, recommendation. Recommendation or references. So um, it's very much useful in expanding your network. For example, start with people you know your PI or your colleagues and ask them whether they could recommend you someone who, for example, now is working in a company 
or maybe also try to identify some elements in common. Maybe you um, followed some similar trainings, but you're not exactly from the same class. If we're talking about the alumni network, or uh, you have some common professional interests, um, whether it's a, for a profession, a theme, or a sector. And uh, if you are a PhD candidate or already a PhD holder, remember that PhD is a great key, a great element, element in common to get uh, in touch with other PhDs because for sure they, they've been there. They know how it is to translate from academia to private sector. Another rule would be reciprocity. Networking is always a win-win process, but it doesn't require the re reciprocity in a two-way. So it's more like a circle. A helps B, B helps C, C uh, will one day help A. So don't worry about this feeling that what can I give in return? Once again, sometimes it's just a pleasure to share the information to be useful for someone. And from there goes another rule is professional to professional uh, relations. So of course you have to adapt positive attitude. It will be up to you to lead the discussion among colleagues. But once again, your colleagues. And of course, some tips on effective communication, um, such as um, simple presentation in a very clear and concise way when you explain your background and what do you expect from your interlocutor. So when your request is clear um, and when you have the right approach, usually it often works in networking, it works. Um, also some ideas um, on information you can get from this networking discussion. Usually ask, try to, to mention some open questions. Show your interest in person, in their background. Um, and of course, collect some useful information for you about work, about sector, about market tendencies, but also skills needed. Um, salary, very much important question. And vocabulary, it's a very rare information. And for example, if prior to applying for a company position, you've always been in academia. So of course you use some academic vocabulary which is often not similar to what uh, is common for the companies. And uh, another thing that you can also ask is a new contact to meet. Once again, networking is about meeting people. So one important element would be also whether the person could recommend you another person to help you in advancing in your um, career plan. So there's just short to-do list. And of course, once again, you will have to adapt uh, it uh, according to your main goal. First, really small goals. For example, at events, limit yourself to two or three contacts in the evening. You don't have to chat with the whole uh, room of people. Or, for example, one networking interview every two months. And of course, choose professionals who have, um, let's say, three to five years of experience prior to yours. So someone who's still in junior position and uh, who still remember <laughs> how it feels to be uh, a fresh PhD holder wondering what shall I do next. On LinkedIn also, uh, for example, share your content, some PowerPoint presentation, videos, articles, posters. It could be just once per week, but always um, explain why you decide to share this information. And then also try to join some relevant groups and participate in discussions. 
another thing will be prepare your pitch. So pitch is a short presentation of who you are. And uh, there's some um, easy and simple things to, to be aware of. First, try to articulate your name and position so your interlocutor could remember who you are. Then, what do you do? So present simply and clearly your background. And what you're looking for? Are you looking for information or advice? And of course, this part will depend on the context. Then, uh, when you know ahead who you might meet at networking event or for a networking interview, of course, search for information to prepare relevant questions. After that, of course, keep in touch with your network. Follow uh, their career development, um, congratulate them, uh, send them uh, some news, ask for news. So it's tiny things that will help you to stay in touch. So um, it is also important to understand that you have to leave networking. It's not just um, something that you do prior to find a job position. It's really your life, your style life, uh, lifestyle, sorry. Uh, something that you do on a daily basis. And of course, uh, it also will come with practice. So practice, network, network, and LinkedIn. LinkedIn is very much important in, in networking. You'll see how easy it could go um, in this, uh, in expanding your network and maintaining contacts through LinkedIn. So now it's your turn. Use also the French Italian day as an opportunity of networking. Um, we will have um, a little bit time for your questions. I see there's some questions and also reactions in uh, discussion. I so, can read, I can yes, read please, them for you. Networking is very important for my part. I'm starting to have small network, but through conferences. Uh, it's good. So um, just to comment on that, conferences is great. Um, some conferences also invite some industrial partners. If your goal is to go to this private sector, so just focus maybe on this part. Well, if you want to stay in academia, so it's good. I think networking, uh, Monia Ben Hida, is important. I think networking is important, especially nowadays, but it is not always easy to initiate the conversations or ask for advice. It's, it's difficult, it's true, at the beginning. It absolutely is. And if one day you will meet someone who will say, oh, I'm so great in networking. It's so easy for me. And I feel very much comfortable by meeting new people and asking them for advice. Don't trust this person. No, of course, well, <laughs> networking is a muscle. Networking is a skill. So it um, goes easily with practice. Sometimes, um, yeah, try to approach maybe um, the, the person who are also alone, the person who, uh, or maybe to smile you if we're talking about the events or if we're talking about LinkedIn. So someone who has a similar background. So you will feel more comfortable also by in explaining why you decided to get in touch with this person. The person will also be able to understand your request um, easily and to reply positively to your request. And little by little, you will find your own way how to network, how to um, also um, um, approach people. What will be your own tips on that? So. Little by little, what is comfortable with you? Try to, to do this. 
Is there small comments? In general, I make moderate networking. Sometimes I struggle to find ice breaking words. <laughs> what do you mean by ice breaking words? Something, something smart to say or uh, in networking sometimes they like the easy chat would be the the most simple and good idea to do. So of course you um don't think about networking as something where you have to impress people. It's too much pressure for every one of us. If we go on networking events, say like, I need to say something good, something smart, something that um, that people would be able to recall me, on me, on my background. Well, sometimes it's, um, it creates too much stress and under stress, well, we have this tendency maybe to forget some important information, for example, even to say uh, what our name is. So just relax and do small chat like, hi, why are you here? Like, or with what company, with what institution? Leila, it's my biggest problem. I have a problem to make network. So the problem is what? Could you repeat the chat, please? It's my biggest problem. I have a problem to network, to, to network. Probably it's, it's difficult. Maybe yeah. she, she must be shy. Yeah, yeah like, like, could, could you develop on this? Um, and at the same time, I see also the, the comment from Stefano, this some people seem natural and natural. And once again, in my opinion, it's just because they practice a lot. Um, they have this tendency maybe they to uh, be present in um, networking events. But once again, you have to start somewhere by approaching maybe, yes, junior profiles, by asking like, why are you here? Or, or um, uh, introducing yourself so um or if there was some um let's say um a talk like uh, a conference prior a quick question so what do you think about the conference we just uh heard we just saw or like the really easiest uh, way to start a conversation, uh, for example, is if there's a cocktail around about food. Oh, it's a nice, uh, I don't know, canapes around. Did you try this one or that one? Really something easy. Um, also about uh, staying in touch with people. It's true that sometimes it's where a way easy to create a new contact, then um, maintain these contacts. And um, in time of the effort you'll put in it, it's, um, of course, it's more, um, more time uh, consuming, but it's something that very um, useful one day. And um, you will also find a comfortable way of doing this. So for example, I show, I mentioned LinkedIn. So if you have a profile on LinkedIn, just, oh, I hope you, you all have a profile on LinkedIn and that your profile is up to date. Um, ask if you can uh, add the person on LinkedIn and sometimes check on the information and you will see that when we share common interests or, and especially if we're coming from the same sector, there's actually some useful information for you. Or maybe you were discussing some um, new trends in uh, in chemistry, and then you saw some article um, similar to what you've been discussing with your interlocutor. Why not to send this article sharing, saying that, oh, I just saw this article and I found this interesting or what we've been discussing about uh, new materials and so on. This is just a random example. But really, you don't have to imagine uh, a very complex way to get in touch with person. Sometimes the easiest way, the most simple, is what works better. 
just a, some commentary. For example, um, as a fresh, um, uh, I struggle keeping in touch with people. Any suggestions? Yeah, well, once again, LinkedIn was really, uh, um, it's what I'm using, and that's why uh, I'm also uh, advising of LinkedIn. It's like uh, your, uh, you know, your agenda, your uh, uh, all your contacts. You can see also it's a way to catch up with people. Of course, we cannot follow uh, each day the career growth of the whole network we have there, but from time to time checking whether, oh, like this, this person now is working in a new company or a new position. Also, what is good with LinkedIn um, is that um, you receive sometimes quick notification where there's something new. So it's also the way to, to get in touch. Uh, whether you are a member of a LinkedIn group, be visible there, launch a discussion. Um, really, um, it's it's the easiest way. Of course, then if you have, um, if you're more uh, phone call person from time to time, you can call. But what I see, what I uh, also hear from a different um PhD holders that will now like let's be uh, transparent <laughs> who are using uh, phones nowadays. So like usually it's like uh, video platforms like Zoom or others or LinkedIn and then some um, other platforms, but less email, less uh, phone calls. So um, by um, don't think about this professional social uh, media as something very time consuming. Think about this as a gadget that actually helps you. And this is actually what it does. Um, I find people more natural, natural in networking. It's true. Huh? It is true. Yeah, well, I already commented on this. Um, well, just it's the practice. They like fake it until you make it. And uh, yeah, well, this is what I invite you to to practice, like create an event even here. So um, in, um, in a few minutes, you will meet some um, company representatives and also PhD holders. Well, get in touch with them and then you'll see what, what what's going on whether whether they will be open to a discussion and how it goes but usually people are nice so even if uh you know that you're less comfortable less natural in networking it's fine no one will say you oh you don't look natural i don't want to to network with you no of course not the people anyway if you if they see that you're a little bit stressed or uncomfortable they will help you well at, at least i hope so that you will network with nice people who will also encourage you in this practice the issue is that we are we have always learned that we must show that we are already aware about the company or the team it makes confusion with just spontaneous discussion with the uh, just spontaneous discussion well um let's say if it's a very tiny topic a discussion where they're just company representatives maybe yeah of course you cannot uh mention some names or some new products because you're not aware but be transparent be clear and with your goals it's fine to say that i'm just uh, uh, I'm a researcher, I'm a PhD holder, and I'm interested in your company. And it's true that I have a background in academia, but I'm sure that my skills could be useful for the private sector also. And I'm just trying to figure out how uh, and uh, on what projects you are working. So when you pretend to say like, oh, um, for example, if your interlocutor tells you, oh, so I'm from uh, Total Energies, 
and you will pretend, oh yeah, I know your company, I know all your projects. In this case, yeah, later or sooner, the person will uh, notice that, oh, actually the, <laughs> the person doesn't know much. And it's just the, um, the expectations that are not met. But if you acknowledge that, oh, well, of course I heard about your company, but I don't know exactly whether you uh, hire PhD holders, whether there's a place for your projects exactly um, is about, uh, be transparent. It's totally fine for you especially while transitioning, not know like these professional sectors, trends and so on. So you are there in these events and you are approaching these people to learn. But sometimes it's just the question of clear request. So when you specify that you are here to get the information, of course, no one will say well, how it's possible that you don't know our projects and our partners. So I know that networking is the very huge topic. Um, I would really encourage you uh, practicing this um, and especially like uh, in a few minutes also continue being present, commenting on and uh, asking your questions. Um, so uh, now we will do a short break. I know that well, I will read all of your comments and uh, if you have some more questions afterwards on networking approaches, of course, you are uh, very much welcome to um, get in touch with me for more advice. So uh, now we will be, we will go on break, a 15 minutes break, and then we will continue with the first round table with company representatives. So. Stay with us and see you in even 14 minutes.